Okay, so let me show you how to download and install the Arduino IDE. So I've got my little website open over here, and I'm just going to do a search for download Arduino IDE. And first link here is arduino.cc forward slash software. And right here is the Arduino IDE. And you can get it in multiple different, uh, from multiple different operating systems. So uh, Windows uh, 10 and newer as an MSI installer, as a zip file, app image, or zip file for Linux, Mac OS. I'm on a Windows system, so I'm going to choose my Windows. I'm going to say just download right now. And then same thing here, just download. I'm going to bypass all of the other stuff. And it triggers the download. And the download should be complete here. Hey, it looks like it's just about done. So once the download is completely finished, then I just run the installer from there. And it is pretty straightforward, except that it's not wanting to finish at the moment. There it goes. So I am going to go ahead and execute the installer. And let me bring this over. Standard license agreement pops up. I want to install it for anyone who uses the computer, which means I need to approve it. And then again, my I agree to the license agreement. Default location is fine. And the install is pretty straightforward at this point. So we just wait for it to get done, and then once it finishes, we can go ahead and execute the IDE. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this until it finishes the install, and then we'll pick up the video from there. Okay, so it looks like we've finished installing the Arduino IDE, and it's got the option here to run it right away. So I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. And that should finish our install and start our IDE. There we go. It took it a minute to take that. We'll wait for the Arduino IDE to load. Here it comes. All right. And here is our Arduino IDE. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and allow that through our firewall. And this was a project I was working on a previous version of the Arduino IDE a few minutes ago. So let me just go ahead and do a new sketch. And this will show us what the IDE looks like when we open it up for the first time. Now, you're probably not going to have this. You're probably going to have this up here saying select board. So what it's looking for is for you to put in the uh, or to connect your Arduino uh, device to it. So you connect it via USB, and then you'll click the drop down, and you should see it here, and you should be able to connect it. If not, you can click on Select Other Boards and be a little more precise on what you're looking for. And you're going to see a lot of Arduino options here. So you pick the board that you want. Uh, that you're actually using. It should detect it. If not, we go find it that way. Now, let me talk about these two things, and then we're going to wrap this up. The Remember, an Arduino is a microcontroller. It'll run a single application. So the application is going to be divided up into two parts, and they call their little code file sketches. So you'll see the sketch here in two pieces. So one is the void setup, and right here it says put your setup code here, this only runs once. And then in the loop, put your main code here, and it runs repeatedly. So the idea when you build your Arduino application and you upload it, you will see here all of this runs the first time when it initializes the application, and then this just loops forever. Uh, a couple of more things real quick. This will verify your code. So you click on verify. It comes back and tells you if there's any compile errors, and this will upload your code. You also have the option here, create a new sketch, do a cloud sketch, look at different projects, uh, look at different code examples. Here is more uh, options for your sketch itself. So I'll let you start playing with it at that point and hope you have a lot of fun tinkering with the Arduino.